So hello everybody, it is Monday, so it's time for another Power BI video. This time we're going to talk about Power Query. This is something that I had to do recently, and I hope it's going to be useful for you too. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an index per subcategory. So not an index for the entire table. I'll show you how to do that too, but we're going to create an index for each category, for subcategories. So we are on the Northwind data set, the one that we always use, link down below for the source. And we are on the customer table. So this is a list of all the customers, okay? And if we want to create a index column for the entire table, this is what we need to do. We just go to add column and then index column. And it will just create a new column with the index. You see index and then zero, one, two, three, four for each customer, right? Now let's look at the code very, very quickly. It says table add index column. This is the function that creates the column. Then it refers to the previous step, the entire table, and then it gives us a name. The new name we will call index, which it is. And then it says to start with zero, you can change that and increment one by one. So zero, one, two, three. If you put a two, it will be one, three, five, right? So this is important to understand how this function works to be able to do it manually because that's what we have to do. Okay, so now what we wanna do is to create an index per country. So for example, it's a country Germany, and I want to have an index for all the columns for all the customers from Germany. So I want to have Germany, customer one, two, three, four, five. And then when it starts with France, I want to have one again. Okay. So this is how we do it. First of all, we need to group our table. So we go to transform and group by, and we're going to pick advanced. I want to show you advanced because you are going to need it. So what we wanted to do is to group by country. Here you choose how many columns you want to group by. Let's say that you want to group by country and region. So you see the difference. I'll show you. And then we're going to give the new column a name. I don't know, data. You don't need to give a name, but let's do it. And then we say, don't do any counting in some, many average, nothing. Just return the rows as they are. Click OK. And you'll see what it does. So it creates a new table where you have a country and region and then a column that contains tables. So for country, Germany and region empty, we have all the customers that belong to those two categories. Same for Mexico. We have all the customers that belong to those two categories and so on and so forth, right? So now if I go back to group rows and remove region, you're going to see what happens. Now we're going to get the grouping by country only, not country and region, you see? And then I have here a table for all customers in Germany, all customers in Mexico, all customers in the UK, you get it, right? Now, how do we have a, an index to these tables in here? This is actually easier than you think. So we go to add column, custom column. And now we need to do the same thing that Power Query did for us, but we need to do it manually. So first of all, what was the name of the function? I don't know, but thanks to intelligence, it is in here somewhere. So it was add index something. There it is, table add index. I don't know why it doesn't have the parentheses by default, it's annoying. So ta table add in the columns. And now instead of picking, if you remember in the previous step when we did it, it picked the previous step. We don't want to pick the previous step. We want to pick the contents of the column name data. So that's what we're going to do. So say go inside data. Now we need to have a new column name. It says here. So we're going to call it index. And then we need to have initial value which is we wanted the index to start by zero and increment. We wanted to increment one by one. Okay. And you'll see what happens. Now we have a new column now that contains the same table as data, but look at this at the end of each table, we have a new column called index that that's exactly what we wanted to do. So you go in here, you do remove all the columns. We don't need them anymore. And you expand. And this is where the magic happens. So 
Here we have the index that we want it. So here we have Germany, 0, 1, 2, 3. Mexico, 0, 1, 2, 3. You see? So now we have a sub-index for each country, which is exactly what we wanted. And again, remember, you can do that with a country and category or a country and type of customer or whatever you need. So it is a very, very useful function and also helps you understand how index works. Okay, so this is all for today's video. I hope you like it and I'll see you again in the next. So until then, take care and bye bye.